Aw, look at the cute little listen kitty. He's just all tuckered out, isn't he? Good evening, Internet. I know, I know, it's been a while. Ooh, I forgot to plug in my camera. One moment. Do, 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 do. As I said, it's been a while, and I apologize. Things have been a little on the crazy side around here. Um, so yeah, um, first things first, I wanted to make an announcement. I am going to go back to vlogging twice a week. Uh, my current plan are Wednesdays and Saturdays, twice a week. Um, I'll also throw in at least one episode of Let's Play Smack sometime during the week. Probably I'm thinking like Mondays or Tuesdays. I'm not going to end up doing it tonight, but apparently people actually like that. I'm kind of surprised. Um, I'm currently sitting in my dual laptop setup. I've got my tablet over here and my tiny top over here. Um, probably going to end up recording lots of these vlogs over here temporarily while I work on <sighs> over there. Um, I'm all moved in now. See, I have kitties everywhere. Um, I'm all moved in now. I've unpacked everything. Well, mostly everything. There's still some boxes in a couple of corners. I've moved everything out of the old place. In fact, I've handed off the keys, handed off all my remote controls, because there's remote controls for everything. Anyway, um, so, yeah. Been a while, hasn't it? How you doing? Um, the current tentative plan is that my next vlog will be about. You know what? Let's just do it this vlog. Yeah. So, um, something I wanted to talk about was the upcoming console wars. Um, talking about the Wii U. Well, that's not really upcoming. It's currently out. But the Wii U versus the PS4 versus the Xbox. I mean Xbox One. Sorry, Xbone is just an awesome way of raising it. Um, and how, what my thoughts are about this console generation. A little bit of background in case if you haven't seen the really early, really crappy vlogs. Um, I'm primarily a PC gamer. I own consoles. I've owned a console of every generation. Uh, at least one, I should say. I've owned, I started, rephrase, not every generation post-crash generations. I've never owned an Atari or a ColecoVision or any of those. Um, my first video game console was an NES. I've been PC gaming longer than that, but my first video game console was an NES, then Genesis, then a PS1, then a PS2, then a Wii, then an Xbox 360. I went out of order. There's also a GameCube and N64 thrown in there. It's a strange order. Any case, um, keep doing the in any case thing again. Uh, point is, is that I'm not foreign to consoles. I have lots and lots of console games. Um, and I wanted to share my thoughts as to what this generation is, which is the Wii U is probably going to be the last video game console. What's that that you say? You say that there's two more consoles that were announced earlier? They're not consoles, they're PCs. So, here are my thoughts. Um, both the PS4 and the Xbox One have very similar specifications. Um, they differ in a couple of areas, but in general they're using AMD processors with AMD graphics chips. Can't call them graphics cards, they're actually APUs or something processing unit. Zone, get down. Zone, thank you. Um, integrated prof... You know what? I've got Google. <laughs> ah. Accelerated processing unit. Stupid AMD marketing speak. Um, APUs are basically a 
CPU or central processing unit, the processor inside of your computing device, plus a graphics adapter. Um, AMD bought this video card company called ATI. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with the PC world and thus don't know instantly what ATI is, uh, ATI graphics were used in the GameCube, in the Wii, in the 360, in the yeah, lots of things. Anyway, um, point is is that the PS4 and Xbox One, not the 360, One, Microsoft and their naming schemes. I mean, seriously. Windows 8. You know what Windows version it is? It's not 8, it's 6 point something. Anyway, um, getting off track. Um, the PS4 and the Xbox One are both PCs. True, they don't have, you can remove the processor and upgrade them like normal PCs or anything like that. They're actually closer to laptops where you're kind of sold an all-in-one unit. You might be able to do a couple of minor upgrades, but that's about it. Uh, actually, more like Ultrabooks where you probably can't even do the minor upgrades. Um, point is, is that they're PCs. They're not video game consoles. Um, the PS4 uses OpenGL. The Xbone uses DirectX. In fact, the Xbone in particular is what I'm going to be picking on because today Microsoft announced the price for the Xbone. The Xbone is going to be five hundred dollars. Um, also, four ninety nine euro, which does not translate. That that's not the currency conversion rate. Um, and something else in pounds, I apologize, UK watchers. Um, that's a lot of money, and I was sitting there thinking about things, and it dawned on me that I can build a PC for less than that, with the same specs. Yeah, um, Microsoft, Microsoft and Sony basically commissioned AMD to build them a custom processor, and they're effectively the same APU. Uh, the difference is that there's more graphics cores on the PS4 version. Uh, if I remember right, it's twice as many. Beyond that, there's no difference in the processor. They're both what are called x86 processors. Um, what's in your laptop, you know, like one of these, is an x86-64 processor. Um, I can describe further, x86-64 is the 64-bit version of an x86 processor. They hearken back from the days of the 8086, the 8286, the 8386, the 8486. 86 is the important part. Anyway, um, your Xbone and your PS4 will have a PC processor in them. That means that they're PCs. If you want to code for them, you're going to be using graphics called for, for either OpenGL or for DirectX which means that porting to the PC is pathetically simple because a standard Windows computer handles both. In fact, Linux machines handle OpenGL perfectly fine. Um, which, I had been wondering about that because in the time between the unveiling of both the PS4 and the Xbox One versus the release of the Wii U, EA had announced that they were basically not going to be supporting it because their major graphics engine didn't support the Wii U. And I was trying to figure that out because the Wii U is very similar to the Xbox 360 in architecture. Uh, very similar power level, very similar architecture. It's really a very similar console in general, but it seems strange to me that EA wouldn't be able to support that, and it makes sense now. EA doesn't need to support that. They're actually supporting PCs. Porting between PC and console is very simple at that point because they're not consoles, they're PCs. Effectively, an Xbox One is an HTPC, or Home Theater Personal Computer. Um, they're frequently capable of doing video recording, they're frequently capable of, uh, they're primarily used for video playback, some gaming on large screen TVs. Does any of this sound familiar, like from the way Microsoft unveiled the Xbox One? Yeah. So, there you have it. In my opinion, in this generation, uh, the Wii U will be the last video game console. Um, most likely for a while, it might be two equivalent generations. Um, we might see a video game crash. I'm not really sure how that one's going to end up turning out, but I do know that I'm not buying an Xbox One or a PS4. I've got better. My PC over there actually already has better specs than the Xbox One. That's really sad. I built my PC two and a half years ago. I haven't really made any updates to it. I mean, there's been an SSD change, but it has better specs in almost, in actually, it has better specs in every way 
compared to the Xbox One in nearly every way compared to the PS4. Uh, Sony's cheating because they don't use regular desktop RAM. They use graphics RAM for everything, and you can't buy that as a consumer. I'm getting off track again. In any case, um, one other, one final thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I want your questions for me. Uh, if you have any questions for me that you want me to answer about anything, I don't really care. I'll probably answer everything. Um, if you have any questions for me, post in the comments on YouTube, post on Facebook, post on Google Plus, post on Twitter, Live Journal. Yeah, I might as well post this on Tumblr while I'm at it now that I have one. Um, post comments wherever you want. I will answer them, and presumably I won't get any comments asking me questions like last time, so I'll end up asking IRC for some questions that they want answered. Enjoy, Internet, and welcome to the new house. Hopefully I'll actually keep this up.